Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for June 13th through 19th, 2022. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. We've got a super full moon in Sagittarius occurring on the 14th. You may be finding yourself uh, reflecting on your past, especially the last year or so, uh, seeing how far you've come, seeing what changes you've made, um, you know, getting maybe just doing a little bit of reflection, right? The, you know, am I on the right track? Do I need to make any more changes? Okay, but it's also a time to, you know, uh, to show yourself a little bit of gratitude, show yourself a little bit of appreciation, give yourself a pat on the back for um, all this journey that you've been on and as far as you've come and whatever you've uh, for as well, whatever you have um, overcome, okay? Um, we're always in a, diff we're in a different place now than we were a year ago. And, you know, no matter your changes, no matter your accomplishments, how big or how small, give yourself the credit, the recognition that you deserve. But also remember to express thanks and gratitude to the universe, okay? Even if you're not exactly where you want to be, when we express gratitude, we get things, more things to be grateful for. So it's a very important practice there. We also do have an alignment with Mars and Chiron so it's all about the masculine energy and the healing revolving around that so something internally within you okay or something with uh, somebody in your life either in the present or the past okay so it gives in that healing energy to release and to let go but we've got some wonderful energy oh my favorite card in the whole deck but we'll start with this one we have life purpose some of you might really be doing some soul searching in the week ahead, okay? Figuring out why am I here? Maybe you're asking some of the big questions in life. Full moons tend to do that, okay? We do get that reflective energy, okay? We do get some feelings and emotions coming to the surface, and we also have our heightened awareness that comes in here as well, okay? So perhaps you are um, going into a little uh, kind of hermit mode there a little bit and doing a little bit of soul searching and thinking about why you're here or am I following my true purpose, okay? Do I feel as though where I'm meant to be. So perhaps some meditation and some engagement with your higher self and with spirit, maybe the order of the day, there may be some answers coming in here for you. You may also find yourself being pulled, pushed, tugged, or dragged in a certain direction. Your intuition is trying to show you the way. There's repeating signs and symbols and synchronicities that may be occurring in your world. There's a reason, there's a purpose for those. So when you do see those, look them up. Okay, look them up because there'll be a few different explanations there and something will resonate. Something will click for you right at that time. You can also uh, stop in your tracks, with, especially with repeating numbers. It's one of the easiest ways that the universe tries to get our attention. And those repeating numbers, when you do see them, what were you thinking of at that particular moment in time? What, where were your thoughts? What were you feeling? Okay, was your mind wandering, drifting? Quite often that is when we see them, right? Because, you know, sometimes when we just let our mind wander a little bit and we kind of get some epiphanies. So you may be getting something there, but perhaps some of you are looking to make some bold moves, some bold changes. That full moon energy is, you know, release, let go, a completion of a cycle. So perhaps you're looking at a change in your career path, okay, or maybe you're following a dream, all right? But we've got good luck here for you. So if you are looking at making a change or following a dream, this is an excellent time to do it. Luck is on your side. We've got this lovely little black cat, okay? I love that. I love black cats, right? Some people are the black cats they get a bad rap right um but that has to do with the witch trials and all that kind of stuff but black bat cats are actually um for the most part very lucky especially when they do cross your path i've got one in the neighborhood and i make sure lily crosses my path uh she's a lovely little kitty cat but so you do have some good luck on your side so you might just find that your week ahead sometimes luck comes in weird little um weird little ways Okay, we can just find ourselves being at the right place at the right time. You may just have a series of fortunate events. Um, you know, perhaps your commute that is normally horrific, maybe in the week ahead, maybe your commute to your workplace is just easy breezy. Um, you might just find yourself, maybe you want to go to a concert or you want to buy something and oh my God, this is my lucky day. This is the last box on the shelf or I scored two tickets to a sold out concert at the last minute because someone else was reselling them and they couldn't go. And, uh, you know, you may just have those little lucky breaks in your week ahead okay but this is also a, a time of good fortune and prosperity for you with that uh, good luck energy so if you're looking to make change if you're looking to start something new those doors are opening for you 
Okay, you may have some improvements in your world as well, possibly in regards to your prosperity, your fortune. Okay, whatever it happens to be, luck is on your side. All right, so let's see what else that we've got here for you. We have the Two of Wands. The Palace of Swords. Ooh, major clarity. And we've got the Chariot. This is beautiful. You know what? This is a very beautiful trajectory for your week. We're looking into the future. We're making plans. We've got some ideas or some inklings of something that we need to get done through the week. You might be trying to make some decisions. There's some doors opening for you. Blocks have been removed. Okay, so that Two of Wands is really one about looking to the future, seeing what your next steps may be. The Palace of Swords bringing you in ultimate clarity. Okay, this deck has a few extra cards in it. It's got the palaces. Okay, and this is like the creme de la creme. Okay, and with the swords, all about your communication, your thought processes, mental clarity, epiphanies, all those things. And of course, we've got the chariot moving you forward. We've got the three of cups showing your incredibly positive mindset. And we've got the page of coins beneath you. So there's something that you are wanting to do here. We've got the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so the Seven of Swords isn't always a bad card. Um, it's actually a fairly complex card. Most of them are. Uh, you know, we quite often just get the, uh, you know, the few, uh, the few major keywords and buzzwords. But the truth is, we can talk about each card for about an hour. Okay, we won't do that today. But the Seven of Swords, yes, can be some underlying energy here. So underlying influence, motivation, or maybe something that is a little bit elusive to you, something that you're not aware of right this very second. So the Seven of Swords, yes, on the outset, can represent something in the week ahead where you may not trust you may not be able to trust it it could be that someone is stealing your ideas it can be a card of theft lies betrayal those things okay so it could be that someone is stealing your thunder stealing your wind maybe there's somebody who has already done that and this is propelling you to think about things a little bit differently to look at different opportunities and sometimes that is a huge motivation factor for us especially with the page of coins here you may be concerned considering, um, you know, changing where you work, your career path, right? Your life purpose. Okay. So, and this could be that influence for you. If you've been in an environment where you can't trust the people that you work with, or, you know, perhaps somebody does steal your ideas. Okay. You've got to forever look behind your back and forever, um, be worried about what you say or what you do. Okay. That is not a healthy environment to be in. Okay. And that could, but it could certainly be giving you the drive, the ambition, the motivation motivation for you that you need to get cracking, to get going. Okay. It, that's a major motivator. Okay. Um, it, I'm in a, I'm in a, my workplace is kind of like that. So of course I'm making change, but, um, but there are certain little underhanded people. Okay. But they can certainly, they can certainly, uh, you know, give you that little boost, that little motivation that maybe you needed. Okay. But the seven of swords can also be about you getting clarity. Okay. Thinking about what you want. You could be actively trying to keep a positive mindset in that card. Okay. You could also be, um, you know, uh, you may have some regrets. Okay. Or you may be looking on the past. You might be trying to decide, um, you know, what is important to you and what's not important to you. Okay. Because the seven of swords, we always have, you know, this person here with swords in hand, but we also always have a couple left behind. Okay. So this could be you um, making plans, trying to figure out what you want, trying to get your thoughts in order. Okay. Because you do want to leave something behind. This can also be something from something from some previous occurrence some previous instance. Maybe there's some past energies that are influencing you in the here and the now and moving forward. And so you could be, uh, you know, leaving something behind, okay, or you need to leave something behind, or you could have a little bit of regret somewhere along the way, okay, something just kind of keeping you a little bit attached, okay, but I think here that you are detaching from any low vibrational energies and you are making a conscious effort to move forward, okay? So you might just be uh, trying to figure out what it is that you want to do with that Seven of Swords, okay, um, and getting some clarity, Clarity is always good. All right. But the two of wands, you may have some important decision to make, right? You've got a path that's in front of you. Okay. We do have two doors on this particular deck that are opening. Normally it's just, you know, kind of looking out into the future. All right. So there may be multiple paths for you to follow. Okay. You might have a few doors that are opening for you, especially with that good luck card. 
Okay, you could very simply be making plans ahead for your week or maybe some bigger plans for your future, right? For some of you, there's some small changes going on, but I think for some of you, there's a big kind of shift coming in there. So you might just be at a turning point in your world right now, okay? And you're just really trying to think of, am I where I want to be? And, you know, some of you may just want to tweak some things just a little bit. Maybe there's just a little bit of um, answers that you're looking for, okay? Or just, you know, you're just trying to, you know, stay positive for your week ahead, okay? But for other you, others of you, I think there's some big epiphany moment that's coming in here for you, okay? Especially when we do have this reflective energy, okay? We do have a little bit, maybe a little bit of nostalgia coming in. Maybe that seven of swords, you have something in your past year that you do regret, okay? Or that you wish hadn't happened, um, whether you instigated it or not, okay? And, you know, sometimes we are just kind of in that moment but that can certainly um, bring us that energy of making some big changes in our world. So um, a very deep reflective energy there. But whatever it is, you are looking, um, you are looking ahead. Okay, whether short term or long term, all right, and your path forward is clear. That's the most important thing. The palace of swords, whoa, baby, okay, your communication, your intuition, your thought processes, your way of thinking, okay, you have ultimate clarity with this page, the palace of swords energy, okay, this is like the top of your game as far as your your thoughts um, and your ability to uh, figure things out go, right? It's a very cerebral energy with that palace of swords. So you may have some very important communication that is occurring in the week ahead, okay? This could be communication with yourself, okay, but also to others around you. You may actually have some very good news coming in, right? It's something, uh, something up your sleeve, perhaps even the seven of swords. Maybe you've got something up your sleeve and you're being a little bit shady, okay? Because, you know, especially if you're looking for a new job, that page of coins that's here, Okay, we can't always tell people about it. Okay, so perhaps there's something there that you have to be a little bit crafty. Okay, that seven of swords, you might need to be a little bit, maybe a little bit secretive, maybe a little bit underhanded, just keeping something under wraps, not for like malice or anything like that. I think it's really more for self-preservation. Okay, so, uh, so you might have something brewing, some tricks up your sleeve, shall we say. But whatever you've got going on, that palace of swords, you are very clear on what you want, okay, or what you want to accomplish, okay, you may have to figure out a game plan with that two of wands, figure out a game plan, okay, first I do this, then I do this, then I do this, okay, if you're looking for answers, truth, clarity, you're getting it there, and of course, your communication with inwardly and outwardly is very, very, very on point there, okay, but we do have the chariot here also, so I think here that, uh, ooh, some of you might actually be making some sort of travel plans, okay, or maybe you're looking to relocate, okay, the chariot card is one of movement, can be represent one of moving, um, making some physical moves or some physical changes, it can also be one of travel, okay, so again, maybe some of you are making some travel plans and going on some adventure, possibly a road trip with that chariot some, sometimes in a very mundane level can represent a vehicle okay so but ultimately the chariot card is that cancerian energy and it is you moving forward overcoming obstacles making some making all the right moves this brings you um, um, brings you an energy of success but it also moving you towards your destiny so you may have your intuition your spidey senses just tugging you in a certain direction in a certain way as we already said with the life purpose energy that the chariot brings you your drive, determination, your, your ambitions to the forefront. So I think here that you are rip roaring and ready to go. You're ready to make some big, bold moves there. Okay. Or you're ready for a little bit of adventure, whatever it is. This is a, this is you exuding self-confidence. Okay. Like, nope, I'm, I'm making the right choice and I'm sticking to it. Okay. I'm, you know, doing what I need to do. And I just know that I'm going to get to where I'm, I need to be. Okay, but I may not always know the destination. All right, but you might also be, of course, having some fun with that chariot energy, and you might be going on some sort of uh, adventure road trip. Okay, or maybe you are just making some moves. All right, but money may be a motivator, maybe a motivating factor. Okay, or it could also just be what is driving you forward. 
And the page of coins, this is in your um, underlying position, your subconscious, your feelings. Okay, so you might be feeling as though it's time for something new. The pages do bring in news and the page of coins is quite often the first signs of prosperity. And with this being in your subconscious, okay, down below, we can represent it as something that is a little bit hidden from you at the moment or that you are perhaps hiding, you're keeping something under wraps, or this can just represent that feeling that I need to make some improvements or I need to try something new or different, especially in regards regards to your physical world, right? Your material world. So your money, um, your uh, finances, perhaps you're looking to make some investments, okay? Your um, career path, your career trajectory, right? And we have that life purpose. So um, there may be something there where you're looking to change your career path because where you are right now may not be feel fulfilling for you, okay? And you might need to uh, do a little bit of learning, higher education, possibly the palace of swords, okay? It's like, um, because it does have to do with your mind and your thought processes. Okay. If you wanted to go back to school right now, or perhaps there's something that you need to learn or do some research, you've got a very open mind there with that palace of swords. It's like your mind is a sponge. Okay. So it's a great time for you to learn new things. Okay. Or to, um, get some information, information, get fact, fathom, fact gathering, fact finding mission perhaps there for you. Okay. But that page there is, you know, you might also be, um, have some other motivation, perhaps children pages do represent children as well. Okay. First signs of prosperity though, uh, in relation to manifestation come in here too. So, um, you know, perhaps you are finding that some doors are opening for you. Perhaps you're finding that there is a little bit of luck on your side, especially in regards to your material world. So you're finding your answers, you're finding the information, you're finding solutions. Perhaps you even are, um, you know, making some sort of plans. You might have actually have a purchase that you need to make in the week ahead with that page of coins. Okay. But you could have also just have some underlying influence there. Okay. That if you've got children that perhaps whatever you're doing, you're doing for your family, you're doing to make a better life for your children. Okay. And, you know, you could also, um, you know, you could also have this energy here, a little bit of uh, protector energy. Um, interesting. I don't have protection cards really. Well, kind of, I guess the seven of swords, it's like, Ooh, danger, Will Robinson. We need to kind of, you know, protect something here. Um, but it could be something to do with your children with the chariot card. Okay. Perhaps, um, you know, perhaps your, uh, one of your children is going out on some sort of adventure or flying the nest, flying the coop a little bit. We are at the end of the year. We are in June and we do have, uh, have children, um, graduating from, um, elementary school, high school, college, university, and heading out into the world. Okay. So there may be something there for you, either, either your, one of your kids is, um, you know, going out on their own. Okay. And, uh, you know, or perhaps you are, um, attending some sort of event, like a ceremony, um, or something with them. Right. So that's that road trip and kind of energy with that chariot card. All right, but certainly do have your material world and your prosperity, um, uh, certainly as part of the uh, part of the influences and you know for your week ahead. But I think overall, whatever you've got going on, there may be some sort of celebration or something to celebrate with the Three of Cups. And this is in your crowning position. Okay, so, you know, perhaps you are receiving some good news in the week ahead. Okay, something to do with your money, your career, your investments. Okay, something good luck, your prosperity. Okay, this can also just be, you know, planning an adventure. Maybe you're making a purchase. You could actually be buying a new car right there. Just saying. Okay. Um, you know, it might be just, you know, a little bit of luck. I think there's a car shortage in some places there. So maybe you just find yourself being in the right place at the right time and you get exactly what you want. Not such a bad energy, but the three of cups does bring about that, um, positive mindset. Okay. Um, but also one of, um, celebration. So again, maybe there's something to celebrate or you're attending a celebration, but it's also a card. It's also the social card. Okay. Friends, family, get togethers. Okay. So again, with that page of coins there, there may be something there, um, that is, um, on your mind this week, something to do with a celebration. Okay. Or that social environment. Okay. Social mindset. Maybe you've got uh, a friend that you, uh, want to go see that maybe you haven't seen them for a while. And that two of wands, you're making some plans for the future. Okay. So whatever it is, it is very 
positive for you there with that three of cups. So whether that's just that positive mindset for you or whether there's something to celebrate um, in the week ahead, okay? Um, nothing really scary coming out here. The seven of swords, a little bit more of a heads up than anything else. Let's get a couple last cards out here for you and see what last messages that we have. And we have it's time to release negativity, full moon and Scorpio energy. And this is your Scorpio reading. So tap into your own energy, okay? What is it that you need to release? What is it that you need to let go of, okay? So certainly something, maybe some past influences, that seven of swords may certainly be linked to that, okay? So maintaining positive attitude, positive outlook on things, okay? Um, no regrets either, Okay, let go of those things, all right? Regret is just that low vibe energy, okay, where you're longing for a different outcome that will never be, right? What's done, it's done, okay? Regret serves no purpose, okay? All we can do is if we have done something that we've regretted, okay, we can do something better the next time around, all right? But we can't change something there. Okay. Um, but there may also be some fears, some doubts, some worries, whatever it is. Okay. This is that perfect time to release. Okay. We don't want you to be blocked in any way. We have have faith in your dreams here as well. This is a beautiful energy reminding, reminding you to keep a positive mindset. If you can dream it, you can do it. Okay. Some of the biggest inventors and, you know, the most successful people on the planet had people that laughed at them or that continuously told them, you're an idiot, you can't do that, you're crazy, that'll never work, okay? Have faith in yourself, have faith in your dreams. If you really feel in your heart of hearts, in your mind's eye, that you can accomplish something, that you can um, do something exciting and wonderful, and you can be successful at it, something that you want, you're dreaming big, you're thinking big, and when you have that kind of mindset, then you can accomplish and achieve whatever it is that you are looking to, that chariot energy right there, Okay, so don't let anyone keep you down. Don't let any past regrets or behavior stand in your way. All you can do is move forward. Take the steps that you're guided to take. Have faith in yourself. Be confident that you're making the right choices. Okay, and be willing to change your strategy or trajectory when you need to. Okay, so it's really more about being a little bit more in the flow, but also your confidence and determination. I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so very much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.